Hello everyone, in this introductory tutorial to Wondershare data recovery, I'll be going over the Windows version, some of the limitations that come with the trial version, and some other features. So the first thing to note is there is either the trial version or the full version. If you purchase it, of course you get the full version, but most people do start off with the trial version. With the trial version you have everything you have in the full version, except file recovery is limited to only 100 megabytes. As you go up to the full version after purchasing, this limitation is completely removed. So if you plan on doing large amounts of data recovery, the full version is definitely the way to go. The next thing I'm going to go over is wizard mode versus standard mode. As you open up the program, it opens in wizard mode usually by default. You can see it says welcome to the Wondershare data recovery wizard. This is the wizard mode. If we were to go to next, you can see it offers what kind of files we want to recover. This will give us a simple way, maybe if we're looking for a specific file we're missing. So say we want to look for a photo that was deleted and we want to recover it, we would select photographic, and likewise with these other documents. And as you go through it takes you on a very simple step-by-step -step basis if you're not very experienced with computers. And this is a great way for people who aren't very experienced to get involved with file recovery. Now if we switch to standard mode by clicking on it here, we have a little bit more of complex options. Of course, we can go back to the wizard mode by clicking wizard, and it's really easy to switch modes. In this mode, standard mode, we have a lot more complex options as I mentioned. We have lost file recovery, partition recovery, raw file recovery, and resume recovery. Most of the time you want to start off with lost file recovery, but we will go over all of these in further in other tutorials. But this will offer you a much more detailed look at what you're actually recovering. And that's just a basic introduction to Wondershare data recovery in Windows, and make sure you check out the other tutorials in the series.